beautiful people. It's Wonderful Wednesday. I'm April Roll, your ER doctor online and a member of Road Docs. Today's topic was requested. So today I'm going to talk about allergic reactions. Allergic reactions happen when the body or a person is exposed to either a food, a medication, or some type of insect and the body has an abnormal response to it because it believes that that particular thing is harming the body. So for instance, if someone has a peanut allergy and they eat the peanut, the body believes, oh my gosh, this peanut is trying to harm us and it releases mast cells and other types of cells in order to confront that particular peanut. Um, these symptoms can be very mild um, like the person can have breakout in hives where they have a bunch of raised red itchy swelling areas over their body um, all the way to very severe their throat closes they can't breathe they have to go to the ER and get treatment so I want to kind of talk about the particular symptoms that you can have with allergic reactions. Now, as I said, it can be foods, medications, insects, you name it. Anything that the body has exposure to and then has an abnormal hypersensitivity reaction to that particular thing. So the symptoms, as I explained before, you can have mild symptoms of hives, you can have runny or itchy eyes, runny nose, congestion, throat itching, um, all the way to lip swelling, tongue swelling, and your throat actually closing up. Those symptoms of your throat closing up or you having difficulty breathing or you having massive vomiting and diarrhea, those actually pertain to the most severe hypersensitivity response um, in the allergic reaction category of anaphylaxis. And when you think of anaphylaxis, that's something severe that it, you can actually die from because it's a multi-system disease process where you have pretty much collapse of your circulatory system because your blood, your blood pressure can plummet um, because of all of the things that's going on in your body. Um, but difficulty breathing, like wheezing, throat closing, tongue swelling to the point that you're um, not able to get air through down to your lungs, those are all things where you would need to be, you know, call the ambulance, go to the ER and get epinephrine and other treatment in order to reverse that process, get your circulatory system back under control and um, get all of the a body's allergic reaction responses under control. Um, because if left um, untreated, anaphylaxis will lead to death. Um, so back to the milder symptoms. If you are um, having an allergic reaction to something, it usually happens within the first couple minutes to an hour after exposure to a thing. So if you start developing some itching, some hives, you can take two tablets of Benadryl. If you're an adult, take two tablets of Benadryl. If you're not, follow the packaging according to age and weight. Um, but yes, take Benadryl. That would be something that can help with the itching, swelling, and rash symptoms. But if you have anything beyond that, that includes difficulty breathing or your lips are starting to swell, your tongue is starting to swell, you feel an itchiness or discomfort in your throat like it's starting to swell. If you don't have the EpiPen because you already have a known allergy or multiple allergies where you can inject yourself, um, you need to call 911 and get to the ER. Even if you do have an EpiPen, if you're experiencing difficulty breathing or symptoms that involve the back of the throat, mouth or lips swelling, you want to give yourself the EpiPen, but still I would recommend calling 911 because 
you never know if you're going to need another dose of epi or additional IV medications in order to get the reaction under control. And you also don't know if the reaction is going to progress, even if you are able to give yourself the EpiPen. So I hope that some of this information or, you know, these tips have helped you. If you've ever had an allergic reaction, comment in the comment section below. Or if you have any other questions about allergic reactions, comment in the comment sections below. If you um, did find this helpful, please share. If you'd like to schedule a telemedicine visit, please visit rodox.com slash Dr. April Roll. Thank you for spending this wonderful Wednesday with me. Be blessed and stay healthy.